Alright. So, what got you into Star Wars? What got me into Star Wars? Actually, um, I started watching it when I was a little girl. My brother got me into it. And I started watching it um, since I was four. And uh, definitely, Carrie Fisher really brought a whole new aspect to the woman hero um, to the world. And uh, I think we all connected with her. I think we really did. I know I did. Um, and it's a very, very sad loss. It's experiencing. Um, she was definitely. I want to say she was another figure. She was. She was just a hero for us. Um, and Carrie Fisher, in her own right, is amazing. Uh, just, just like Princess Leia is, uh, General Leia. But um, I know we'll we'll remember her. I know we will. We're learning this thing. So. <laughs> so what got you into Star Wars? I can't say one thing in particular. My mother took me to see them when they were back in theaters, and I was hooked from the first time I saw them. There you go. All right. And was there any characters, any motivation in particular that pulled you in personally, or were you just caught up in the craze? It's been too long. I was a child at the time. Again, I can't say one particular thing. I loved all the characters, and seeing them felt like I was with my family. And... Carrie Fisher's character, Princess Leia, she have a heavy impact on that? Of course. As a little girl, you know, you want to see people who give you values that you can look up to. But it's also helpful to see people who look like you. So one of the first things I noticed about Leia was she was one of the few princesses who had brown hair and brown eyes like me. I have a twin sister. Leia was a twin. That was an immediate point of connection there as well. Okay, so I have a twin sister, Leia is a twin, that was an immediate point of connection. And she was someone who could be strong and beautiful at the same time. She could wear the dresses, she could wear the combat boots, she doesn't have to be pinned to one particular role, and I always love that. Alright. Oh, could you at least tell Miss Fisher one more thank you? For Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, thank you for everything you have done for us. We love you. I know she's rocking the Princess Leia, the classic Leia hairstyle tonight, so did she become very influential for you later on? Yeah, I just like the way she, like, just took on a role of being herself and, like, not really needing anybody else to just be awesome. Yeah, she, she only had the name Princess, but she didn't come off as a princess. Yeah, she, she, she didn't really come off as a princess. She just came off as a princess that really... I don't even know. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I mean, clearly she had an influence on you. I mean, yeah. would you at least like to say thank you to her one more time? Thank you. She just, yeah, she's just amazing. She just made me feel like better and more strong and independent. After I saw that movie, it just made me feel a lot better. Based on Star Wars and all What what got y'all into Star Wars? Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, it's been a part of my life. I have no idea. I remember my friend uh, had some of the toys when we were six years old or something. He had the movie playing when I was over. I thought it was so captivating. Okay. Uh, what about you? I think I'm really he got me into Star Wars, <laughs> but I think it's a really beautiful message. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it works, yes. But um, would you at least say thank you to Miss Fisher for her contribution as... Like a princess, so. My dad, actually, uh, I remember the day he sat us down, me and my sisters, and uh, we ordered pizza and watched Star Wars for the first time. I remember sitting on the carpet, being just like amazed. All right, and did Carrie Fisher's character Princess Leia have a huge impact on that? Absolutely. I mean. You know, most of the princesses in my lifetime have been damsels in distress or, you know, little like, yeah, oh, but Carrie was strong and had a mind of her own and did what she thought was right, which I think is really important, um, especially for her young girls to see, you know, women can be in powerful roles and don't always have to be like, oh. Yeah, I mean, even in a metal bikini, she was probably one of the more intimidating characters <laughs> on that ship. That gun. She turned that turret. She did what she had to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, would you like to say a nice thank you to Miss Carrie Fisher for the last time? 
Thank you so much, Carrie. You have changed the lives of millions of girls all across the globe. But she's the life member. So what got you into Star Wars? Well, I was born in 1975, if that gives you any idea. So it just grew up when it came out. So you were part of the original hype train that right. rolled into town. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to assume Miss Fisher might have had some influence on you being a fan. Absolutely. She was a role model for all women. You know, women don't need a man to save them. She saved herself. I mean, even in a metal bikini, she was intimidating and very threatening. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, would you at least say a nice thank you to Miss Fisher one more time? Absolutely. Carrie, we miss you. We miss you, and I'm so glad that I got to meet you uh, at Fan Expo in Dallas last year. Um, I want to thank you for signing my helmet. I am going to retire it now and make another one, and that one will go in a special glass case. The helmet is actually right there. Let's, let's actually get that. So your helmet right here. Oh, there it is. Wow. You will be missed. Ms. Fisher, you were practically one of the many staples of the Star Wars universe. It is unfortunate that you are no longer with us in the body, but I know you're at least watching us in spirit. And as I was saying towards the end of it all, you are one with the Force, and the Force is definitely with you. like a classic New Orleans dirge. It's amazing. Marching off in remembrance of Carrie Fisher and her contributions. This is quite the trip. This is quite an experience.